Well, the definition of psychedelic is mind manifesting, and there, there have been a number of words for these uh, drugs over the years, uh, like hallucinogenic, but not all psychedelic drugs are hallucinogenic, or psychotomimetic, meaning that it mimics psych psychosis. Well, some psychedelics do that. Uh, then there's entheogen, which is bringing out the God within, and some psychedelics do that more than others. One of the reasons why the, the word psychedelic has been abandoned is because of uh, the, the cultural usage of the term psychedelic, which be, became, began to mean many things in the, in the 60s. It was a lifestyle, it was a kind of art, and scientists didn't want the associations uh, of the word psychedelic. Uh, but I, I think it's the best descriptive term. And what I'm trying to do in, in my work is to, is to show what psychedelics can teach us about the structure of the mind. Because it, it turns out, and many people don't realize this, is that psychedelics are extremely diverse. There are hundreds of different psychedelics, and each one has a unique pattern of action in the mind. And different psychedelics will bring out different parts of the tapestry of the mind and, and show them to us. And there's, there's, I don't know of any other method, any other technology or set of tools for scientific research to bring out these components of the mind. With psychedelics, when you get a selective psychedelic that operates through primarily through a single receptor, that receptor shows you its effects, and the subject can just tell you what they're experiencing, what kind of feelings, what things they're seeing, what kind of thoughts are going on. And there, I don't know of another method that will do that for us.